It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and some things look kind of weird on the outside, mm. but are actually nice on the inside. Mm. Like a kiwi fruit. Oh, okay. yeah. It's kind example. of ugly yeah. looking, yeah. but you open them up, it's like, oh, this is sweet. Or one of those geode rocks with crystals inside. Oh, yeah, those oh. are fun. Oh, pretty. Or a massage parlor in a strip mall. Mm. Oh. It's like, oh, <laughs> they have shag carpet what? in here? <laughs> Fancy. And that's what this segment's all about. Okay. It's called What's on Your Mind, where we go around the room to see if what we have going on inside isn't as horrible as what we're showing on our outsides. Starting with Brooke. Brooke, what's been on your mind? Well, it went to the pumpkin patch over the weekend. Oh, that sounds fun. Dude. What a racket. Oh, I racket. Mean, Yikes. I just said, what a waste of money. What? I, I know it's going to be controversial, okay? Yeah. And I know, Alexis, you like to go to get your Instagram pics. But yeah. my Real? God, you just are paying money left and right for what? I don't really know. To I keep the farms going is what you're paying oh. for. I, really <laughs> yeah. never, I don't go, so I don't know. I've never been to the pumpkin patch, but... Don't you just pay for entry and then no. that's it? Yes, you pay for entry. You you pull up and there's more cars there than a professional mm. sporting event. <laughs> and there's so many people. It is hot. Okay. Ooh. I find we go in. I'm like, oh my god, can we make this quick? But of course we can't because there's donuts for sale. There's hay rides for sale that then you also have to take. And the hay ride, mind you. What, what is that? What? <laughs> what, what do you do? You literally just go out and then you come right back. And what you, you see nothing. Her? You see maybe some broken down, busted buildings in the back. Uh -huh. uh, a field that they haven't done anything with. And then one fat cow. Oh. I, oh. You guys. That cow, that cow is worth the price of the yeah. hay ride what the heck? And then, And then you pick out these pumpkins. You have no idea how much they're going to weigh. Yeah. You oh. get up there and they're like 100 pounds of pumpkin oh. you just bought. I'm Dang. like, what? Well, you what? bought a 100-pound pumpkin? Uh, <laughs> no, but multiple. They add it up quickly. Yeah. So I'm just saying, I don't, I'm not going next year. Uh, I'm not going. Uh, it's not. Kids, bro. They didn't have that much fun. They're not going to. Re it's, not a, <laughs> it's not a lifelong memory. Like, really? They like cutting the pumpkins open, and I can get them from the grocery store. Okay. Year. I've never seen somebody have, like, an overtly bad time walking around oh the God. pumpkin patch. It was so hot, and they have, like, a fire going, as if we have to have a picture by the fire. I'm like, stop that putting would be cute. It's tradition. Stop putting <laughs> on the fire. It is 100 degrees out right now. Okay. Brooke anyway. hates the pumpkin wow. patch all of a sudden. Just, this year. I just think that it's just turned into something it shouldn't be. Eliminate all pumpkin <laughs> patches. Okay. Uh, yeah, Jose, what's been on your mind? Well, if you guys didn't know already, I mean, you guys know, but you, the people listening that I'm yeah. talking to, I'm on Cameo. Oh, and, yeah. you know, we get requests all the time. I know Brooke is too, yep. for like birthdays and holidays. Yep. And sometimes people just want me to roast their friends and stuff, right? right? But the other day, I got a very special request. Oh, really? It's from a guy named Aaron who wanted to propose to his girlfriend, Tina, Aww. using me. Oh, but he like cheaped out and what? got you? Hey, I wouldn't call that cheaping out, okay? I'm like $25. Wow. Anyway. He really went big with this proposal. You guys, you guys have to hear Are you serious? It. You proposed for him? Just listen to this. No. Oh, look at that, it's Tina. <laughs> I have a mean to speak with you. I got a special message from your boyfriend. All right, from Aaron. Me and him did battle back in the day. Aww. He's a good friend and he reached out and he has a specific message and this is a secure line. So I know who I can tell you. He says, your ring is secure and he wants to ask you to marry him. <gasps> oh, that's pretty special. <laughs> I'm out, I got a parachute over India. Can't tell you exactly where, but somewhere around Calcutta, you'll never find me though. What? So, did he wait? Did he request closure? Yeah. He requested oh, right. oh, thank God. And does thank his girlfriend God. listen to the show too? Because I feel like she wouldn't understand what was going no. on. Well, I hope so because the next day I realized like a lot of times you can review or leave a tip. Yeah. And I hadn't heard back from him. So I'm uh -oh. like, I wonder if he said yes. And then I did eventually get a message from him and five stars. And all he said was, thanks. That was great. <laughs> 
Oh, oh. So I hope it went well. Oh, okay. so maybe he didn't even show it to her. Maybe, I have no maybe idea. Maybe he meant thanks. That was a bad idea on my Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> definitely one of the most no, romantic no. proposals that we've heard on this show yeah. before. Yeah. Well, so Rank it right up there just above Brooke's Backwoods Swamp Rodeo proposal. <laughs> that was sweet. So congrats to Aaron and Tina. Yes. If, if, you're engaged. if they said yes. yes. And if you didn't say yes, Tina, we get it. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm not offended. It's not yeah. on you, Aaron. Alexis, tell us what's been on your mind. Uh, so I had an interesting weekend. I, like, the city near us does, like, uh, Oktoberfest in, like, a little Bavarian town. Mm-hmm. They yeah. moved it to a new city this year. Uh-huh. And I decided this is the year I'm going to try to go, okay? Fun. Fun. It's supposed to be a big party, you know? Okay. Oktoberfest, yeah, it's a, it's a yes, big ride. Yeah, I've huge. always wanted to go. So I get there. I've been planning this for months. I walk in. And it's dead. <laughs> there is, what do you mean? It's a venue, like, made for a stadium. Hundreds of tables and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. And there's, like, ten people in there. No <laughs> way. And yes. you drove, like, three hours. I to did. Get I drove for this. <laughs> Are you got a hotel and everything. Yes. Are you sure you showed up on the right day? Yes. Right day, right time. <laughs> okay. Prime time, apparently. Prime really? time. Oh. So we go get a drink. And that is exactly broke. The employee says, wait, you drove three hours for this? Was <laughs> the employee said that? The employee. Yikes. And I'm like, yeah, it's supposed to be an annual event. Like, <laughs> confused, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm trying to find, like, the German events. Yeah, like, maybe you just are missing. You're in yes, the wrong tent. Totally, maybe. totally. Yeah. So I do find beer pong, okay? Cool. Oh, right. Some beer pong yeah. happening. Except it's after the hours kids are supposed to be allowed there, and there's children playing beer pong. Hey. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> children? Like, eight and under. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I hope it was water pong. Yes, I think it was so empty, they literally were like, let's let the kids stay. Yeah. Or, wow. more people or it was here. the employees' children, and they're like, they didn't have a babysitter that night. <laughs> Nobody's here. Honestly, so they were like, okay, Leo, let's just get food at this point. German food, okay? Yeah, mm-hmm. nothing better. We go That's to the true. food area. Corn dogs and elevators. What the heck is hey. an affair? <laughs> not one pretzel no inside. No pretzels. No, no, the cheese no broth, sauce. schnitzel, whatever. No sauerkraut. No. All that stuff would have been too spicy for you anyway, though. So it worked <laughs> I out. I never found out. Literally corn dogs. So. Oh my gosh, it's a, not yes. German. So then we go back. We're like, hey, let's give this venue of ten people a chance inside. You know. <laughs> you drove Listen all this way. To the German band. The YMCA comes on. No, no. <laughs> yes. no way. And everybody, ten people are singing to the YMCA at <laughs> Oktoberfest. <laughs> <laughs> and I look around and I'm like, is this where I'm at in life? Are you just waving Honestly. your corn dog? In the yes. Sky? Like, so, wow. Can you guys play some young gravy? I don't know if it was me or this place or just Oktoberfest yeah. is different than I thought. Oh, <laughs> my god. You, you seem very cultured. Now. Yeah, yeah, I left and got Taco Bell. So uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> that was my night. Success. <laughs> so Taco look into Bell. it before you go in the future, okay. everybody. Oh, yeah. my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Jeff, what's on your mind? So I just had my birthday. And Happy birthday, boy. Over, over the weekend, I went out to a restaurant, and okay. the waiter comes up to the table, and they, mm-hmm. they say, you know, are we celebrating a special occasion here? Yeah. And somebody else points at me, and they go, well, it's actually his birthday. Yeah. Yay. And I do the thing where I blush, and I'm like, oh, my God, stop. Yeah, you got it. I stop, but I like it. Oh, you're embarrassing yeah. me. <laughs> but the waiter's like, oh, okay, happy birthday. And everybody knows that restaurants for birthdays they usually give you a free dessert mm-hmm. at the yeah. end of the meal. Yeah. That's the standard thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So I'm checking out the dessert menu thinking, like, what are they going to bring? Yeah. Am, I getting the, room. am I getting the creme yeah. brulee? Are yeah. they going to hit the me with the brulee. chocolate mousse? Yeah. Mm. We reach the end of the meal. <laughs> no dessert. Oh. oh. They just bring out the check. Oh. Huh. And I'm thinking, was I a bad patron? Yeah. Mm. What are, are like, they, do they not do free rent? Free desserts Was at the a, fancy French restaurants? Yeah, they don't do that at a fancy French restaurant. You need to go to, like, the Olive Garden. Ooh, Buffalo Wild Wings gives you the cake. Yeah. 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 At least they'll, like, write your name on the plate in a sauce or something. Something. Yeah. Nothing. So I just Nothing. signed the bill, what? kind of confused, and then I noticed, oh, wait, they automatically include a 20% gratuity. Oh. But oh. I already written in my own 20% oh. tip. <laughs> So you can't scratch it out. No, then you, you look like a tip. real cheap. You, you do, yeah. and so I just leave uh, it, and I tip forty percent on my birthday <laughs> with you, no free dessert. Who let you pay on your birthday? Uh, it was not the best birthday experience. I can tell you that. Uh, but uh, they're like charge just, this guy extra. That really checks out for you. It does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jeffrey Sorry, Jeffrey. Say la vie, I yeah. guess. I'm and, glad you're born. <laughs> Text- I don't have any free dessert for you, though. Mm. Yeah, that's not happening this year. <laughs> Text in to 78592. Tell us what's been on your mind. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.